Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me this morning on the 19th of July 2021, sat on my local Asda supermarket car park. We're in a short while, I'm going to exit the old jalopy and enter said supermarket for an authentic supermarket experience. Now what do I mean by an authentic supermarket experience? Well Hot Potters, as of today it's going to be like the old days. Now as many of you know, on the 24th of July 2020, there was a law brought in that mandated you must wear a face covering in supermarkets and most indoor settings. And uh, that was brought in by Boris Johnson in a, an attempt to try and curb the old coronavirus spread. I don't think it's worked, to be honest. We've seen cases shoot up, and I'm not having it, that all the people who have contracted coronavirus have been silly and not been wearing face masks. You know, I, I don't think that these really worked. But finally, Freedom Day is here, and if you wish, you can ditch the old face covering, and that's what Mr H is going to be doing as of today. What I'm going to be doing... I'll enter supermarkets as I'm about to do now and uh, if I go out for a meal with Mrs H and I'm not going to wear a face covering. If I'm asked to wear one, I'm going to politely decline the invitation to wear a face covering on their premises and if they insist, I will simply turn round and walk out and I will boycott those premises until they change their mind. Because it's as uh, my old grandmother used to say, money will spend anywhere. Now, as I say, I'm in the camp where I don't believe they ever worked, to be honest. I think it was a bit like trying to catch a flea using a piece of chicken wire. You know, it just uh, to me, it just didn't make sense that you could wear an old rag, which is all I used to wear. You know, I cut the arm off an old T-shirt, and I used to use that. I used to walk in like an old bank robber from the 70s type of thing. But um, that's all I wore. I refused to buy a face covering, and I never wore anything other than that. But as I said, as of today, I can ditch that. So I'm now going to enter into the supermarket. I'm going to go out, do a bit of grocery shopping. Uh, just a few things, a bit of milk, things like that. And then uh, I'm going to come out and uh, we'll see what happens really. I'm expecting security to probably eyeball me, but they'll just have to take it, won't they? Now one good thing about um, losing the old mandatory face mask and that, it puts all those, those little hitlers back in the boxes, doesn't it? Because I'm sure many of you have done this, you know, you've gone out, you've accidentally forgot your mask, and uh, they jump out, don't they? You need to wear a mask. And they don't think, these people, that they're creating ill feeling. And it's the old saying, isn't it? Give a little man or a little woman a bit of power. And it goes straight to the head, doesn't it? Anyway, enough waffling. I'm now going to head into the supermarket and see what happens. I'm looking forward to this. And we're in Hot Potters. As you can see, Mr H, maskless. Lots of people walking around, still wearing them, which uh, is interesting. Be interesting to see just how long they carry on wearing them. Uh, there was no security on the door, which is sod's law. And I'm getting a few funny looks, but that's probably because I'm making this video. But um, there you go, and it feels good not to have a bloody face covering on. It's been a long time coming, this. Anyway, I'm going to now pick up those uh, groceries for Mrs H. Just like I say, a bit of milk, I think a bit of butter and uh, some bread. So we're going to be having toast this morning. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been good. It's been a long time coming, this, not wearing a face covering. And hopefully we won't be challenged or asked to wear a face covering when I'm out and about. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Right then, I've got my milk. I'm now going to make my way over to the bread aisle. And uh, you'll have to join me at the old jalopy for me to wind this video up because I haven't got enough hands up, Potters. So join me when I get back to the old jalopy and uh, we'll wrap this video up from there. Okay, folks, well, you know, join me back at the old jalopy after my authentic supermarket experience where I've gone maskless. Now, I'm going to wrap this video up very quickly because I'm on red battery and I think I've only got something like 10% battery life left. So I'm going to have to make it... A very quick ending really, I'm going to have to uh, skedaddle as soon as possible and hopefully my camera won't give out on me. What's that old saying? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail and I didn't put the camera on uh, charge last night so it's my fault really. Now when I've been going around the supermarket I've noticed that there's a few people who've taken the earliest opportunity like I have to ditch 
the ruddy things and there's most people continuing to wear masks and uh, that's their personal choice really I think that's the way it should have always been I don't think the government last year should have mandated that we all wear masks all it did it created resentment from those of us who uh, didn't want to wear one really now again this isn't an anti-mask video if anybody out there wants to continue wearing a mask that's entirely the prerogative but uh, from now on and moving forward I'm not going to be wearing one, but please leave your comments below stating whether you're going to continue and follow government advice or you're going to do the same as Mr H and say that's the end of that. Now I have noticed when I've been in the supermarket that you can still see where there's been the uh, spots telling you to keep two metres apart from people. Uh, I'm assuming that they removed those last night and there is now a recording being played telling you to uh, follow government advice it's not telling you it's encouraging you that's the new thing but uh, i don't think supermarkets should be doing that simply because most people will have already made a choice beforehand whether they're going to wear a mask or not and uh, all it'll do it'll just make people feel a little bit shamefaced really or that's what they're going to try and do well uh, i'm going to exercise my legal right from now on moving forward not to wear a face covering and um, that's it, so I'm out of here, like I said, this battery really is flashing at me and telling me that uh, I need to wrap this one up quickly, so that's what I'm going to do. So, until the next time, from myself, Mr H, as always, it is, bye-bye for now.